In the early 1960s, France needed a new combat-capable trainer aircraft to breathe new life into their aging fleet of fighters. Fortunately for them, the UK was facing the exact same predicament. Because of that, two nations decided to solve the problem together and launched one of the first major joint military aircraft programs in Europe, the program to develop the Jaguar. The original specifications called for a cheap jet trainer, but as countries took into account mutual requirements, the project became considerably more ambitious. Ultimately, the requirements changed to include supersonic performance, reconnaissance, and tactical nuclear strike roles. In 1966, France and the UK created a joint venture called CEPICAT, where every side had a distinct set of responsibilities. The British Aerospace Corporation worked on the wing and high-lift devices, while a team of French engineers at Breguet were responsible for the main body of the Jaguar. A separate partnership was formed between Rolls-Royce and Turbomeca to develop the engine. During the development process, a huge emphasis was made on high maintainability of the aircraft so that individual components of the Jaguar could be maintained without special tools. There were countless obstacles along the way, but after six long years of development, France finally accepted the new plane into service under the name Jaguar A. The aircraft was fitted with two 30mm DIFA cannons and a laser electro-optical targeting pod to use with smart bombs or air-to-surface missiles. The Jaguar was also armed with Matra Magic missiles for use against other aircraft. A year later, the plane also entered service with the Royal Air Force, where it received a new designation, Jaguar GR-1. Unlike its French counterpart, the British version was armed with the Aden cannon and didn't have flares or the same targeting pod. Furthermore, there was a separate trainer version of the Jaguar with a slight decrease in performance. For instance, the Jaguar E, which is a two-seat training version available in War Thunder, is not equipped with a radar warning receiver. Jaguars used by the French Air Force made their combat debut in Africa, where they quickly made a name for themselves. They were later deployed in several other conflicts. British Jaguars had to wait a little longer, 20 years to be exact, as it was the Gulf War when they were first used in anger. Nevertheless, they also performed really well. In 1991, Jaguars of the RAF flew countless sorties with next to no losses. The aircraft had potential as an export vehicle, but in the early 1970s, Breguet merged with Dassault that encouraged acceptance of its own designs. And as a result, engineers at the company were not that interested in developing the Jaguar any further. Initially, the list of potential buyers included Switzerland, Germany, Japan, Turkey, and Australia. But ultimately, Jaguars were mostly sold in small batches to countries like Ecuador, Nigeria, and Oman. Jaguars remained in service for decades and underwent a lot of modifications and upgrades. For instance, at rank 7 of the British tech tree, you can find the modified Jaguar GR1A. As of now, though, most operators have already retired the aircraft. The only country that is still employing them is India. Their Jaguars have recently received a new upgrade package. It's true that the Jaguar didn't really change the world of aviation, but the story of this iconic flying cat is still a story worth telling. At the very least, because it's one of the first ever cases when two nations came together to design a plane and succeeded. Mm -hmm.